All right, we're on. In the upper right, in the yellow, our Terran player, Slayer's Boxer. And his opponent down here in the bottom right, in the purple, yellow. Well, you know, uh, we started this game at exactly as a joke the Korean commentators made at 22-22, 10-22, and the yellow taking the lead, he's known for being at number two. You read that in a 24-hour time, the 22-22, feels like it's all favoring yellow. The lines are coming together for him. <laughs> but we'll see if Boxer wants to bring us out with a aggressive two racks proxy or you know some sort of more aggressive bunkering pulling more scbs here because just historically speaking he's always done this you know we thought we might see it in the last game but he faked the pressure instead with his uh back against the wall here now down zero and one though will he be able to commit that's the question on this map that hasn't seen play in so long tasteless and uh we're still waiting to see uh where slayer's boxer is going to spend his money because for the time being i don't see scbs in the middle of the map and I do not see uh, a, a barrack, so it seems like he's been a little bit late here with his first uh, his first depot. Yeah, actually might even lose a little bit of build time on that second SCB as seen here. Looks like he wants to uh, go ahead and build the barracks here very quickly after the depot. Uh, it's a more economic approach, I guess you could argue. I think it might have been a mistake as well, but he gets a little bit more money from uh, the late SCB, but he loses the money. Like, because he didn't send the SCB to build a depot right away, he built mine, maybe two or three more minerals, but it's less significant than having the extra SCB that he's now missing. One thing to note is that um, I, I think because of the later barracks, I, I don't think we see a bunker rush. And so much of a bunker rush is hinged on a matter of seconds and even sometimes like a half a second or a quarter of a second. Uh, so Boxer may actually go for a macro game here. Now, Yellow seems to be completely unfazed by anything that happened in the previous game. He's getting his natural expansion up here. We'll see a spawning pool go down next, uh, and then either a third hatch or best being gas, depending on what rate he wants to tech at. Notice he also sends the drone scout across, so even though he's unfazed about what we saw in the last game, he plays safe. Both games, he sent the drone scout out. He had drones to protect against the initial SCB, was not willing to allow Boxer to even phase him with the bunker rush and respected it heavily now he's going to have the early scv scout he sees where the scv is coming from doesn't even have to commit his overlord so the boxer is going to proxy oh, wow. a factory not the barracks in the middle of the map okay so this is uh not not particularly normal but it, the the idea is centered around the fact that the overlord may try to come in here and take a peek at what's going on and because of the scouting paths that the overlords usually take they don't really cross the center uh, not necessarily, and even if uh, Zerg were to check the center, uh, they would have done it earlier to check for the barracks, not for the factory. So um, he may make vultures from here, I believe. That's probably the case, um, right? I, usually when I've seen people do this, they make two factories in the middle, but it looks like he might want to stick with one. Now, at the same time, Yellow comes inside of uh, Slayer's Boxer's base, looks around, and the, the lack of, of structures is information in of itself, right? Yeah, he's Clearly, like, he's hiding something. Yeah, where where is your second barracks or where is your CC? You don't have either, but you have a gas. So knowing you have a gas, there has to be a factory somewhere, right? And the drone's going to go directly to the middle of the map and scout this immediately because he says, well, of uh -oh. course, of course you have this, right? Of course you've, you've, you've simply hidden this uh, in the middle of the map. Why would you have the gas and no factory in the main? So the vulture proxy now scouted. Yellow has the advantage in terms of now, knowledge of this, but he still has to defend it. Now this this expansion set up in, in a bit of an odd way, and we're about to see this. See, he's going to beat me to it. You can actually go up the ramp and still hit the drones from the high ground, uh, whereas you can't on a lot of other maps, which allows you to get pretty abusive early on. But if if the Zerg handles it well at all, the Terran's in an awkward spot. The factory is, of course, in the middle of the map, which means you can't safely produce tanks from there later on. Looks like he sent the vultures to the top, actually, just trying to clear out any perhaps hidden bases or any other drone scouts. We'll now look for the run home here. The factory is lifted. He's sending it back. He has double barracks, just wants to tech up to bio, but he's not going to have the CC. He's not going to have the extra economy with this, and his rush has essentially failed. It's not a fully wasted investment, but he didn't get the damage done he wanted to, just simply by the fact that it was scouted. Now, the vultures are going to look for this high ground, but hydras are already ready. He's known about this for so long. He knows this is the map he's going to be playing against Boxer, so 
Vultures come up here. Now they're kind of trapped. They will sh They should be able to get out here. In fact, they want to take this Hydra down with them. But a good response from Yellow. Okay, good good control here by uh, Slayer's Boxer. It looks like uh, he should be able to get out with those Vultures. The problem is, for Terran, is what is the follow-up here? It's, it's annoying for the Zerg to try to play catch-up here. Notice he's got a trap set up here. Uh, he's going to be able to box in these Vultures eventually. Very um, difficult to do, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, they're, they're so nimble. It's so easy for them to run away. Uh, but I think eventually this is going to get cleaned up. This one Vulture on the right should be gunned down. And then we have the Hydras blocking the ramp. So it's just a matter of time. And then, of course, what is the proper follow-up for Terran? A handful of Marines. We don't have any... Uh, he has oh, the Academy, though. Oh, we have coming out now. Yeah. But, he but honestly, uh, if Terran doesn't do a lot of damage with this style of play early on, Terran just should be in a deficit. But I think the way that Slayer's Boxer is approaching it is because there's a ramp up to the above area of the natural, he can try to punish him that way. I think what he wants to do is just get this high ground control, but he has to wrestle with these first group of Hydras. Right now, we do see Yellow struggling to get units out in time. Wants to control his Hydra, wants to prevent this here. Okay, we're going to see this first fight. This is not enough okay. ground units here for now, the Zerg. He has Hydras step. for the Vultures, but he doesn't have Lurkers for the Marines. Yeah, doesn't and have a lot I of think he either. might just get it in time. This is a very specific timing attack. It caught Yellow off guard, despite the Vultures being handled. The Marine push coming through right here. Uh, may end up shutting down this game here for Yellow. He's going to go ahead and take out this hatchery here. He had the answer, as you said, for the Vultures, but the Hydras, especially in low number like this, not going to be the answer for the Marines and Stim. He's going to try to have this last ditch attempt, but look at this, the Stim back, the medics to heal, that extra Stim damage. The hatchery will absolutely go down. I think this is the beginning of the end. I don't see any lurkers in sight. I think that on some level, Yellow actually assumed it was going to be continued mech play. He said you're so Boxer fast. Boxer duped him. <laughs> That's and that's going to be it. GG. Boxer gets his revenge. He said, wow, your, your timing attack, your follow-up was so fast is what he said.